for the holiday. Ellie? Yeah, Susan, the things that people were telling me today is that this is the most important thing for getting out on the water, a life jacket. But there are also other ways to stay safe. Ready to go out on the boat. Summer Jararski grew up on the lake. We live right over by the lake here, um, and we're down here a lot. Now she's passing down the love of water to her kids. All three of my kids have been out within like the first weeks of their lives out on the water. But safety is a big priority for Summer and Madison boats owner Tyler Leeper. And it's something that we focus on every single day of our season. In fact, well before the season even starts. But the biggest safety tip? Life jackets, life jackets, life jackets. You know, we've, we've last season we've had uh, 28 boating fatalities, 27 of them were directly related to life jackets. Something Summer takes seriously. Can I get your life jacket on? As soon as they've been able to actually move, um, they have been wearing life jackets down here by the lake. The Department of Natural Resources says it's important to have boat lights, a designated driver, and be mindful that high waters will change conditions. And just really slow down and really be observant when you're operating your boat. The water is always a potential place for danger. That being said, it's also a great place to be able to connect with friends, family, have those incredible summertime memories. For Summer's family, safety helps create those memories. That's the only way that you can kind of be ahead of the things and be a little more relaxed when it comes to, to being prepared for a fun day out in the lake. As we approach the 4th of July, the DNR reminds boaters to be patient on congested waterways. For now, live at Lake Wingra, Elila Liberté, News 3 Now. Thank you.